our fish facility, like in any other, uh, every day we sometimes have to uh, wash tanks and mating cages. Um, and until now, uh, we were unable to use any detergents because they are uh, they can be toxic uh, to fish and, and embryos. Uh, before we could use uh, this mixture of um, uh, substances, uh, we were unable to simply place these tanks into the cage washers and uh, for the tanks to be effectively cleaned. Like everyone else in our field, we're taking dirty fish tanks on a periodic basis and having to remove this sort of material uh, by hand, uh, which was extremely time consuming and actually occupies a pretty large footprint as well. Mostly because when this material dries out inside of the tanks, it uh, becomes extremely difficult to remove. So very often we're forced to keep these tanks submerged in water just in order to be able to wash them. With every, every cycle of washing, every cycle of scrubbing, there would be a physical damage to tanks which will accumulate uh, over time. Uh, and in these scratches that are left on tanks, this is exactly the place where additional dirt or, or biofilm uh, could be deposited. Um, if one spends just 5 or 10 seconds on prescrib uh, uh, scrubbing a single tank, you can multiply it by hundreds and thousands and it really uh, translates into hours and hours of labor. After developing the wash process using automation and a chemical mixture, we're able to have a tank that goes straight onto one of these dirty racks. the mechanical washing of tanks and mating cages. Number two, uh, it reduces uh, the mechanical damage of tanks and, and mating cages by scrubbing. Uh, and also, uh, it uh, protects people uh, by saving their physical labor. And when it comes out, uh, it's completely free of the biofilms and completely free of the bryozoan and any of the soil that it had going into the system. And it even possesses this sort of nice squeaky clean quality that is virtually impossible to get when you're manually washing these tanks. 